Here's what you need to know about Mind Pump's MAPS Anabolic Program before buying it. Now, right off the bat, the MAPS Anabolic Program is a solid overall program, and I wouldn't expect any less from Mind Pump. However, there are some things worth pointing out that may matter to you. So number one, let's go through the pros. First off, I absolutely love full body programs. All around, I would argue it's one of the best splits, especially for someone like a parent or someone with a crazy busy schedule. So if you are a parent, full body is gonna be ideal. And if you feel like committing to a full program is tough, then the full body option is really great because it's super flexible. You can miss a day here and there and you, you just pick right back up and you're still able to hit all the body parts throughout the week so that you're still getting frequency. A lot of times if you're doing a different type of split and you miss a day, then you might not be hitting that body part for two, three, or even four or five days. So you can miss a day without missing out on working an entire group of muscles. Welcome to Dad Bod Fitness. If you and I are just meeting, my name is David and I help crazy busy moms and dads to be able to build a physique. If you want to maximize your muscle growth, strip the body fat, and transform your life even while still managing your family, consider subscribing. So number two, the MAPS Anabolic Program is really attainable and it's a realistic training load. So now they only recommend starting out with just two foundational workouts a week. And then if you are more experienced, so if you've had consistent training for more than a year, then they recommend that you could add in a third foundational workout as well. And so number three of what I like about this program is they include something called trigger workouts. So what is a trigger workout? A trigger workout is basically a mini workout that you're doing for four or five up, up to 10 minutes max. You can do it up to three times a day. So they're super great because you're doing it mostly with body weight or resistance bands, very low impact, very low fatigue, and it's gonna help with recovery. It's also gonna help build up some additional volume for your overall workload, and their theory is essentially you're trying to keep triggering protein synthesis when you do these trigger workouts. And it's really great because it makes you feel good, it gives you a boost of energy, and they're super manageable that you can do throughout the day. And honestly, in my situation, I'm really only able to do it like once or twice a day max. Usually it's only about once a day. I do it first thing in the morning, it gives me an energy boost, helps work those sore muscles from the day before or those fatigued muscles, and it helps me add some volume for the week. Number four of what I like about the program is that it's gonna hit all of your major lifts and really the ones that matter. And finally, number five, I've seen great results and I really enjoyed the phasing that they've built into the program. My strength has definitely increased and I really haven't felt overtrained at all. And now I've done programs before where I've, I've felt that over fatigue, that overtraining just a little bit and I've tried to optimize things since then, but this program definitely helped to make that more manageable while still Obviously, I'm still finding myself making progress. If you are enjoying this video, would you tap the like button? It would mean the world to me. And don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. All right, now I wanna jump to the cons and what you might want to think about regarding this program before buying it. So the volume might not be ideal for some people, but this is gonna be expected with any program. It's not a program specifically tailored for one individual, so obviously you might run into this. But they recommend adjusting and adapting the program to best fit your your particular needs. Ultimately, you need to listen to your own body. So one thing I also don't really like about the program is the fact that they have super high volume for calves, abs, and for traps. And I just personally don't enjoy that. It's usually sometimes upwards of five sets for those body parts within a workout for one particular exercise. And for me, this is hard when I struggle to have enough time as it is. So for some of these smaller muscles to have very high volumes, it's sometimes difficult to be able to fit it all in. Now, additionally, the program doesn't take the amount of time that it says it does. And I think this is probably one of my biggest complaints about it. In the instructionals for this program, they say it takes about somewhere between 30 and 60 minutes. Not true, not true at all. I've heard other people mention this before. I listen to their podcast, they don't seem to think this at all, but when I have timed the workouts and even if you calculate out the rough amount of rest and the amount of time it would take you for each set, it just, it doesn't calculate out to what they say. So for me, I just think it's it's unrealistic to be able to do within 30 to 60 minutes. I think the fastest I've made it through one of the workouts was around 45 minutes and that was, that was booking it and that was not following it exactly with the sets and rests that they had laid out. And now the strength phase in particular definitely takes far more than an hour. So I was finding that typically these workouts are gonna take somewhere between like an hour and 15 minutes and the, the longest it's taken was actually closer to like an hour and a half. Now that's pushing the 
rest times towards the, the, the longer range of rest time that they give you. So for instance, in one of the phases, they give you one to three minutes of rest. And if you push that rest time, then you're definitely gonna be finding yourself taking a lot longer than what they say. The other thing I find is that not all of these workouts are necessarily the most attainable for parents in particular. At least, I mean that it's not geared specifically towards people who have very strict time limits around their workouts, which I tend to, and if you're watching this channel, you probably do as well. So for example, one of the workouts in one of the phases calls for ab sets of reps up to 100, which is, is just silly. You don't need 100 reps to be able to build muscle. Now I know their theory behind it is to get different rep ranges, but going all the way up to 100 is just unnecessary. Train abs like you train any other muscle and the ideal rep range, especially for hypertrophy, is going to be between eight and 12. So I just don't have time for that. I don't have time to be doing four to five sets of abs for up to 100 reps. So I do add in um, additional weight or resistance and do different types of ab exercises in order to make it more manageable so that I can get it done. Now, are there potential benefits of doing up to 100 reps? I mean, research has shown that all rep ranges build muscle if you're sufficiently close to failure. So ultimately, it's good to train in different rep ranges, but I think, in my personal opinion, going up to 100 is just unnecessary, especially for someone who's short on time. You've gotta be more efficient. You've gotta be able to do it a little bit quicker than spending upwards of two, three minutes per set. So you wouldn't train curls up to 100 reps. So ultimately, you're gonna wanna train abs very similar to any other muscles, so that's why I wouldn't recommend doing 100 reps. I would definitely recommend the program overall, though. It's a powerful program. It's relatively manageable, even with a busy schedule, and it can help break you out of plateaus because of their phasing strategy and also the trigger workouts as well. Click or tap screen right up over here. It'll take you to the next video that you need to see on your journey, and as always, be intentional, bring the intensity, and I cannot wait to see you on the next video.